When it comes to online commentary, people express a lot of passion. But what about in the real world? In BAM TV's comment box, we hit both the net and the streets to find the most controversial comments from the world of music and fire back some of our own. I'm Ian McPherson from BAM TV and I'm here every episode to pick out the best opinions and provoke the juiciest debate. And here we are again in our studios and today we have some special guests from the BAM studios as well. We have Sonia Pina who is the producer of BAM Latino and we also have Sophie Dewitt who is the A&R for BAM TV. Welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having us. Thank you. Hello. So today's story, in the Independent, Sarah Morrison asserts that Miley Cyrus has prompted a modern day feminist manifesto. Uh, in the past few months, Cyrus has blown up the internet with her twerking and simulated sex acts with foam fingers and swinging naked on a wrecking ball. Uh, she's also been a recipient of an open letter from uh, a, a fellow feminist, uh, Sinead O'Connor warning her about prostituting herself to the music industry. And Miley responds to Sinead's criticism, in addition to her Twitter feuds, to say, I am the one of the biggest feminists in the world because I tell women not to be scared of anything. As well as we know, feminists in the pop culture is incredibly nuanced and complex, uh, a complex concept. It, it's also a very important concept to discuss. And today our goal on Comment Box is to discuss this particular story. Um, is Miley Cyrus a feminist in pop music? By taking a closer look online, at some comments. In the studio, we will be having discussions and hear from everyday people on the streets. So let's start with the online comments and let's see what the comments, commenters have to say about this story. First comment is from O'Karen and she said, exactly as much as I find Miley Cyrus's videos repugnant, I at least appreciate a transparency about her motives. Well, this is a strange thing because what is she being transparent about? But in terms of her use of feminism, um, I have an issue or I feel conflicted about it because I feel that the word is being used for many different things. Um, my, my feeling about it is that... Um, Feminism is about equality, so her transparency is not about equality um, or, you know, having the same opportunities as men. She's being transparent about being an empowered sexual being. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's not the same thing. Um, you know, at, at the moment where she starts addressing things about her position as a woman in the industry versus something to do with sexuality, then I think I'll... I'll start considering the thought about talking about feminism. Um, but at this point, I think she's talking about being empowered sexually as a woman, not necessarily about feminism. Is it not really a possible thing to do, like to be sexual and be a feminist? I mean, you can we... most definitely be sexually empowered and be a feminist. I just don't think it's the same thing. Well, and I think that's the trouble you run into with the word feminism and addressing yourself as a feminist. And um, what's great for me is I think it's more of an umbrella term. You know, the basic definition is social, political, economic equality, but that's pretty vague a lot of times. And I think Sonia's right. Like, ideally, Miley would bring up um, the in the conversation, like, her position versus men in the industry and how the patriarchy is affecting her actions. But in this instance, she's not. I do appreciate her use of the word. Um, I'm for that, and I think it, it adds something to the conversation. And uh, I would argue, actually, maybe she's a sex-positive 
feminist, you know, I think there's pluralism within feminism, and it could be as part of her feminism, sexual expression is something that she feels um, she has power or agency in. Um, I don't know, I don't want to assign that label to her, but it's very possible. I think she's also really smart. She knows that her performances are going to generate attention, that attention is going to lead to talk, and that talk is going to sell records for her. And it is a, a very, very broad subject because there are loads of definitions of feminis feminism. Um, broad but and I complex. find it, it very broad and very complex. Um, but, you know, I, I find it hard, hard to see, you know, what's clear about Miley becoming the figurehead of feminism. I think she's a bit too busy, especially this year, to become like an overnight icon for feminists within the music industry. I, I feel comfortable saying that I don't consider her a feminist, but it, I'm not saying that she can't call herself a feminist. Um, and I think that's important because it's that's my opinion because of if we're talking about this broad concept of feminism, then in my in my interpretation of feminism, I don't see it that way. So comment two is from Inaki Gerido. And basically what Inaki has said is fresh debate. By God, stage performers doing sexualized shows and claiming to be empowering women have been around since the the fifties at least. And it's never it, it never ends well for the simple reason that girls are selling their meat as a mean of publicity and if it's meant to change the situation of women around the world uh, they will be working on awareness and not self-promotion uh, what do you think about that Dorito's comment really simplifies the issue and in a lot of ways he's ignoring sort of the larger economic forces that affect women's choices within pop culture you know um there are a lot of men that I think are pressuring women to act in a certain way, which we can get into. But I think Miley is bringing awareness um, to the conversation just by using the word feminist. And um, you could argue that it, she's also self-promoting simultaneously. But in my eyes, what she's doing is more valuable than a lot of other pop stars like Katy Perry or Taylor Swift to have come out and adamantly said, I'm not a feminist. And I think that's disingenuous and it's not doing anything for the movement. So in a small way, Miley is bringing awareness to the conversation. And I think we really need to get away from the virgin slut dichotomy in the conversation. I think it's really damaging. Um, she is either or and she can't be something in between and she's criticized for that and I don't think that's very constructive. What is sad to me is that it proves like the misogyny in the industry because she has been most successful when behaving in one of those ways. Mm -hmm. um, being the Disney virgin or little princess character um, and now being like this sex pot thing. Um, in her in-between phase, I feel like she she was able to maintain her um, fans and following from her Disney time. But, you know, I understand as a, you know, as a teenager or late teenager transitioning into her 20s and wanting to prove that she's more than that and that she's a woman and not a kid anymore. Um, and unfortunately sex is a way that she found to prove that. Um, and that's the way of the industry. And I think that's where part of the conflict between, uh, O'Connor and Cyrus comes from because Sunid is saying, you know, the industry is essentially prostitute, prostituting you, Miley. And Miley, I think 
feels like she has more agency um, and is feeling more empowered with her sexuality. How do you feel about these young girls who don't know what feminism is uh, now having this concept of feminism? Like th th this, based on, based on what she said, you, that's like, what they know as feminism. Seeing her and saying, oh, that's what a feminist looks like. Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean... It's definitely not ideal and it can be very problematic for me, but I think that's the baseline that you're starting at as a young girl. If you haven't heard someone uh, in the public eye come out and say that before, someone under 40, right? Um, someone that you listen to their music and you admire, then the word is kind of in your psyche and um, those girls can do what they want with it. Hopefully, you know, they would delve a bit deeper and find some other examples. Uh, but Miley is bringing that to the table. So you're right, it is it is fairly problematic for me, but I, I appreciate the action, I think, the idea of it. This one's from uh, Mama Rebecca. What's hilarious is that the guy to even attempt to pull off a male version of Miley Cyrus's pattern of behavior, he would be condemned and cursed as a disgusting pig. Um, the, double st the double standard is what's, what is disgusting to me. And Miley Cyrus's behavior is not new wave feminism and it's nothing to do with equality or female empowerment. Her behavior is nothing but self-objectification, uh, just the thing that we need as women have been and still are battling and struggling against for literally a millennia. Its self-objectification is now considered forward movement uh, in feminism. Then the feminist movement has become nothing but trash. That's some harsh words. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think about those harsh words, Sonia? Yeah, is it um, is it trashed? <laughs> well, I, I, the first I want to address the first thing that she says um, is in, in terms of um, the way that society would uh, talk about a man in that position. That's very rare. I don't think men would be punished uh, for that most of the time. Um, the view is that men are just being men, um, or, you know, that sort of behavior, like, oh, it's all right, you know, he's a player or whatever. Um, most of the time when men, uh, at least in the industry and definitely in, uh, our society, I feel, um, do some, you know, very strong, strong public statement or sexual type of, um, image most of the time no one says anything about it it's just the way it is um uh, versus with women there's always some comment you know uh be it you know oh she's you know being empowered and sexual or she's a slut um so i was surprised to see um uh, uh, this comment about about men um i agree with sonia in that i really don't think what Mama Rebecca is saying about men would actually happen. You know, you see like Justin Bieber on stage thrusting around and no one gives it a second thought. Um, in my view, it's more of don't hate the player, hate the game. And I don't think that Rebecca is really contributing anything to the conversation because in a way she's slut shaming. And um, that is not helping the feminist movement at all. So what Miley is doing may not be agreeable, but um, She's out there and she's using the word in the best way that she knows how. And I respect her for that. It's a very complex subject, a very deep subject, um, feminism, uh, especially within the pop uh, music industry. Um, it's very hard to divine, define. Um, it, there's so many different voices and perspectives of um, the feminist um culture i i i wouldn't know where to start so the best thing for me to do is to go on the streets and try and find out what uh people think about miley cyrus being the 
the face or the voice of feminism. Your name is? I'm Harry. Nice to meet you, Harry. And your name is? Jess. Nice to meet you, Jess. Do you think anybody cares about what Miley Cyrus has to say about it in terms of feminism? Well, I think that Miley Cyrus is going about this whole feminist thing the wrong way, really. I think having, like, she seems to have, like, men mistreat her in most of her music videos. It just seems kind of a strange way to get the point of feminism across. Like, if you know what I mean, yeah? Definitely. Yeah, I'd, I definitely think the way, like, she did, what was it, Wrecking Ball? Is it Wrecking yeah, Ball? Ball yeah. And, uh, there's that other one. What's, what's that other one where she's, uh, she's, like, lying in, uh, she starts on a bath or something? Yeah, that's yeah, it. We can't I think stop. it's yeah, we, can't we can't stop. stop. Yeah. yeah, that one. I no. Think. <laughs> Crazy. Lily Allen as well. What do you think about Lily Allen? I think Lily Allen's video is genius, and I think it's a fantastic hit at the music industry. The way, uh, am I allowed to swear? The way it says uh, Lily Allen has a baggy pussy, and just the way she gets. Kind of attacking Robin she get, Thicke there, wasn't yeah, she? She gets all that across. I think she does that really well. But I think the fact that Miley Cyrus did that thing with Robin Thicke uh, was it the VMAs. I think the fact that she did that sort of sort of eliminates the whole thing. That if people are thinking that she's trying to be like a feminist about it, I think that's the complete wrong way to go about it. Because going and doing something with Robin Thicke, who's married. yeah <laughs> ma married with kids, and doing a video like that, and doing lyrics like that, which just sounds like it's about—I'm not saying it is or anything—but it sounds like it's about rape and misunderstanding that a girl doesn't want to have sex with them. It just seems weird. Hi, I'm here with Brian. Nice to meet you, Brian. And basically, what it is, Brian, um, there was an article in the Independent um, online website, basically, which which claims that Miley Cyrus and Lily Allen are feminist role models in the music world. What do you think about that? I mean, Miley Cyrus, I mean, do you really care about her feminist opinions? And what puts her in that position to be this role model? Um, honestly, I don't really have much of an opinion on Miley Cyrus because, uh, you know, when I when I think of Miley Cyrus, I think of that uh, the performance around September and with her sticking her tongue out and uh, what do you call that? Um, you know, twerking. Twerking. Yeah, that that's what I get. I mean, that's the image I get in her head in my head, uh, rather than an actual music or any politics involved. To be honest. <laughs> I definitely do not think she's the face of feminism at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> no, I mean like, because she's like, she's appreciated by, I think, younger women than us. Um, maybe around 15, 16, because she's kind of strong. And she is quite independent. Like, she does whatever she feels like doing. And she stands, she, she stands for it. She's proud of it. And I think that might be like the the independent thing, not really that she's a feminist, more like she does whatever she feels like doing and then she just go for it. Like take Beyonce or, yeah, Beyonce, she's like a true face of feminist, I would say, just like how she, however you say it, how she, I mean, she only has like women in her group when she tours and stuff and I think that she's an inspiration but definitely not Miley Cyrus, I just think that she has like a breakout now because she's been such a goody good girl and now <laughs> she's breaking out or but trying to. Also like, have you, have you seen the uh, music video with Round Thick with Blur Lines? Have you seen that video? Yeah, that's what I'm referring to. Because I hate that music video, it's embarrassing because that's like, that's just, that's just mean towards women, you know? And most women doesn't really have that sort of music videos about men. Maybe that's why it's so... Like when women do their like music videos, it's mostly about them, like how they want to present their, themselves, not how they want people to look at men. Maybe I don't know. So that was the man on the street and the woman on the street, and that was the people on the street speaking. And as you hear, there's loads of different diverse views about uh, Miley becoming this voice of feminist culture. I mean, some support her, some don't. But my final thought on this matter is that, you know, it's like one small step from, for Miley and one giant step backwards for woman, womankind. But on the upside, I mean, the PR for the pop stars done well. You know, I think it's kind of a bandwagon to jump on this feminist 
thing. Whoever brought it up, well, it's almost like a wave and she's jumped on this wave and she's riding it. Why not? Um, I, I understand what you're saying, but I'm, I'm hesitant to call it a bandwagon. I think if you, if you believe in equality, you're a feminist and um, that, that is something that I hope grows. So bandwagon on, you know, <laughs> come on, join the bandwagon. That's not a bad thing um, from my perspective. Um, I think as we have discussed, Miley is uh, fairly controversial and, and she's not my quote unquote ideal feminist, but I'm so happy that she is participating in the conversation and I would like to see the movement grow. I don't see her as the figurehead, um, but as, as more people get involved in the conversation, we're going to hear more perspectives and I think we especially need to include women of color, um, non-Western women, I think that's going to be important. We need to address what's happening online with feminism and issues of bodily autonomy. Um, so I, I just see Miley as the person that's kind of started the, the ball rolling down the hill here. And I, I only hope that um, the new wave movement grows. My biggest reaction for this is um, that unfortunately, it's still something that's happening. It's still something that is a strategy. Um, that um, being an overtly sexual um, or or doing an overtly sexual act on stage is a way for a woman to make it. Um, you know, I, I don't think it's, it's a step backwards. Um, I think actually we're just repeating the cycle. Um, and I, what I'd like is to move forward. Um, what I'd like is um, for that not to have to be the case. If we can just rewind the dial and say this was the same thing Madonna did, you know, it's just what I'd like is for for there to be um, forward movement in the industry and not have these uh, clear categories and labels about um, what women should be how they should act how they should dress uh what they should talk about and if that means um something to do with our our physical aspect as women um that's fine whatever it is um as long you know i just i just want to feel that there's some conscious thought about um really being um a driving force for opportunities for women in the future well, thank you. Uh, that sounded like perfect, a perfect close to this show. And uh, I would like to thank you once more, Sophie and Sonia, for coming on Comic Books today. Thank you. Thank you. Remember to share your views on Twitter at BAMTV hashtag Comic Books or on our Facebook page. Join us next time on Comic Books. Remember, don't keep your opinions to yourself.